Hello. All right, so I love this industry, uh, in part because we're all trying to explain and make the world a better place, but also because where else do guys like me get to stand up on stage and be one of the cool kids by talking about data? All right, that's absurd. So at Meetup, we are sitting on a mountain of data. We have more data than we know what to do with, and we love using this data to explain how communities are formed, to inform our product decisions, to help us actually create a more dynamic experience on the site and on our apps. But the kind of data that I love, 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 love <laughs> is, is the data we get from experiments. Right? And experimental data, data from experiments actually allows us to go way below the surface and actually learn answers to questions we didn't even know we had. So at Meetup, you know, we don't just test on beakers and, and have test tubes. Our experiments in our laboratory actually looks a lot more like this. It involves trying to move millions of people from their computer screens, which is safe and comfortable, to something that's a lot more putting themselves out there and trying something a little bit more like this. Now, this is a mountain biking meetup, and who wouldn't want to go to it? This picture sells itself. But there are hundreds of thousands of meetups that are happening every month that are actually far less glamorous and picturesque, and they involve putting yourself out there and taking a big risk. It's really scary to go sit in front of a table of people you've never met before and have dinner. And it's even scarier still to be the person who's got the guts to actually try and organize this. So we do everything in our power to try and make people get over the hump. And we do that by conducting, we try to conduct hundreds of experiments a year. And my favorite kind of experiments are the kind that actually turn up results that we couldn't believe. And tonight, for the first time, I'm going to reveal results of an experiment that actually just shook my, shook my brain. I couldn't even imagine it. So here we go. I'll give you a little bit of background. The average meetup gets about 20 new members in its first, 20, its first 15 days. Now, this is great if you want to create a community from scratch, but it's got a problem. Can anyone guess what the problem is? What? Louder. Retention. Well, that's a good question. No, actually, spam. It attracts a lot of people who want to spam us. So basically, it's not just your garden variety Nigerian princes who are trying to free up their family fortunes. You got people who are trying, who pose, in, as marketers who pose and create fake meetups in order to try and get people to buy stuff. Now, nobody wants to go to this meetup about teeth whitening, but somebody still tried to create it, and we're gonna weed them off the platform, and we're actually gonna give them back their money, and it's a huge pain in the neck for us, and we'd rather not have to deal with it. So we were brainstorming, okay, what are the things that we could do in order to solve this problem? And Scott, our CEO, one of the things that he proposed, he said, well, what if we took everybody who wants to create a brand new meetup, and we required them to actually pledge to create real face-to-face -face communities? So we put a new barrier into the flow, and actually made everybody click on a checkbox that looks like this. So I, thought, I heard this idea, I said, that sounds crazy. That's, that's insane. Oh, you, put a, uh, you put a barrier into a payment flow, and you prepare to see your results tank. But we agreed to run it as a test, and we ran it as an experiment so we could quantify how much money we would lose, and, we, uh, and then we could actually make an informed decision. So we ran this experiment, and how much money do you think we lost? Oh man, you guys are too smart. So we, we, we did not lose a dime, actually. It was, the opposite was true. What you'll see when this slide flips is that we actually have a 16% increase in people starting to create meetups. So this is 16% this also for us translates into cash. We couldn't believe these results. It didn't make any sense. We re-ran the experiment, we ran it for longer, we tested everything that everybody in the front row should say we should test. And in fact, we couldn't still explain it. The results still were, were valid. So we, uh, we, clearly there's something weird going on, and we couldn't explain it. I mean, usually when we run experiments, we try and remove the friction. We try and make things easier. And often that actually does lead to having improved results. But in this case, we actually added a barrier. And albeit it's a pretty low barrier that you can jump over, but it was a barrier and it should have turned people away, but it didn't. And so what's going on? I've got a theory and I'll share it with you. I'm gonna test it, but I'm gonna share it with you first and um, about what's going on here. Maybe we've gotten to a point in the world where everything has become just too easy. We used, to send, we used to sit down and write people letters, and those letters became emails, and then those emails became tweets. And maybe we're just stripping all of the friction out of everything in our lives to such a degree that we're actually entertaining ourselves to death, as they say. Right? Maybe our souls are actually starving for, or are starved, and they're fat and bored and lazy, and they're just dying for somebody to come and say to us, hey, why don't, why don't we raise the bar? Why don't you take on this challenge? And, you know, because when you take on a challenge, when you strive for something bigger than yourself, that actually is what creates meaning and purpose. And that's actually what makes you happy. And so maybe, just maybe, a little checkbox can remind us about the things that are actually missing in the world. And maybe it can inspire us to actually go ahead and make the leap and fix it. So that's my experiment. That's my truth. If you've run an experiment like this, I'd love to talk to you. But go out there and create your own experiments. <laughs>